since we know that the amplifier will be noisy, we want to have budgets and we want to have showstopper values for these noise sources. Let's say if, for example, this VN is more than so and so much, then the amplifier is not good enough. So, or if this IN is so and so much, uh, then the amplifier is not good enough. It should be less than this. So we can specify the equivalent input noise sources of the amplifier and study their influence on the signal to noise ratio without knowing anything else of the amplifier because we are close to the source. Here is how it works. Here you see the two port in the upper figure, uh, figure with a two equivalent input noise sources, VN and IN, and I connected a signal source, VS, with associated noise because there are ZS uh, source impedance as well, VNS, and of course it's impedance. And let's say VS, the voltage is the information. Then I want to have my signal to noise ratio expressed in voltage. So this current source, somehow this IN is quite inconvenient. I don't want it. I want to convert it into a voltage and see how much it adds to the total voltage. And this can be done using Thevenin Norton equivalent uh, circuit. I just consider the current flowing through ZS would build up a voltage IN times ZS. And of course, if you call, if you calculate everything in spectral density, it looks like the, the formula you have below. The, spectra, the total noise spectral density is the spectral density of V and S, the source, the equivalent source, a uh, noise uh, voltage source of the amplifier, and the equivalent noise current spectral density of the amplifier times the squared magnitude of the source impedance. And you see, we have an expression for the total noise without knowing anything else from the amplifier than its noise sources. And that is why this model is so convenient at an early stage of the design. So the noise figure I already told you is then, let's say the weighted signal to noise ratio uh, so there's a weighting function here. In audio, for example, we are not very sensitive for low frequencies. We are more sensitive in the range between 300 hertz and 3 kilohertz, our ears, and above that it drops a little bit and below it drops also a lot, uh, which means that if you want to see the perception of noise by, by the listener, you can say, well, don't do too much noise between 300 hertz and 3 kilohertz. And you can allow a little bit more noise at low frequencies because you don't hear it anyway. That is what we call a weighting function. And for audio, DIN A weighted, what you can often read in specifications of amplifiers, is a weighting function that models the sensitivity of the observer for the frequencies.